I don't know. Well, this video might be over. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing SH Figure Arts Sun Gohan Beast. Man, I've been waiting a long time for this figure to come out because Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the movie, came out like what, over a year and a half ago? And this just now dropped. I wish this came out around the same time as the movie dropped. That would have been nice. Here we are, finally received it. I can't wait to get inside here and see how Sun Gohan Beast looks from SH Figure Arts. Let's get into it. All right. Let's get into this Sun Gohan Beast right here. Oh, it comes with the special beam cannon. That's very cool. Very cool feature. So this was a little bit more expensive than other regular SH Figure Arts figures. Probably due to the fact it comes with a lot of accessories. And also, it's just a main character from a movie. All right, he is out of the box, and let me tell you, this looks awesome, guys. The hair, the detail in the hair looks very cool. It's very spiky, so watch out if you do get this. Uh, you might poke your fingers on it. But let's get into his clothing, the clothing details. They're battle damaged, just like they should be. It even has some like little divots right here, like some uh, battle marks where he got like punched or attacked or you know those little lines on him that they have. I wish he was more battle damaged up, like a little bit more cut up around his face area and all that, just like it was in the movie. His chest is like that a little bit. The shirts and the pants, the detail of the uh, the battle damage looks good. Let's get into how the figure moves, posing him upright. Looks like he balances pretty well, even with the head turned. And one thing that's good about this head and the hair is it feels very lightweight. So it's not going to like fall backwards because the hair, hair is too heavy. And they did a great job on that. Posing. Let's get into posing them real, real quick. Fighting poses. Looks pretty good. He's very flexible and some of these characters and I've had some in the past to where you move their arm just a tad bit and it's popping out of that socket. So right here, his arm moves very well. All the way around, let's see if it goes out pretty good. Yep, goes out pretty good. Goes out pretty good that way. Let's get a little double by. There we go. A little flex in there from Sun Gohan Beast. The character's muscle detail, pretty good. I, I wish the arms were a little bit more jacked but that's not the case with him but the details are pretty good with the shoulders the chest looks jacked let's get into these the face plates so the hair is attached to the face plate right here just like with all the other kind of figures from sh figure arts you just take the face off of the the hair right there and it looks like this comes in two parts on his hair so this piece comes off as well i guess I'm not sure to make it, I guess, easier for this faceplate to come on here, but we'll see. Let's change it with a, kind of like the grinning, the grinning face of Gohan. When he's like, is that all you got? Let's see if I can get it out of here. All right. So I'll put it in right there. And the face plate just goes on right there and then the top of the hair just goes right above it to secure it, to keep it snug. Well, I thought it would. Nope. <laughs> My bad, okay, let's try this way. Let's keep the hair piece on, the top hair piece on and now let, nope, that's not gonna work either. So let me figure this out. We take the top hair off, we put the face in right here. Now we put, the top of the hair on into the little connect nope all right this is a little bit more difficult than i thought it would be so we put it in the top hair piece that might that's might be the way to go about it and then then we put the hair piece there it is so when you put it just an fyi you have to take this top hair piece off and then put the face plate on that top hair piece first and then you connect it to the 
the main base of the hair. Let's get them on here. The head pops on very easily. And like I said before, the hair is super lightweight, so it's not a problem with uh, the balance of the character. And um, it's very cool. So let's get a shot right here of Sun Gohan, just in this pose. put that right there and we connect the top piece of the hair the front piece of the hair and then we got it snug in there now it's not going to move snaps on very easily the faceplate where he's screaming he's powering up ah! now let's put him in that pose see if he goes down let's see you know the classic pose from every Dragon Ball Z character when they're powering up with their hands out, the fist out, knees a little bent, get that power up going. Ah! Ah! Yeah, this character pumps me up. I love to see characters like this. Their most powerful transformations is uh, very motivating, man. Yeah, that's a cool face plate if you want to make him power up or make him angry looking. Now let's change face plates again. Now he's going to have his teeth, his gritty. He's still mad right here. All right, let's pop that head on here. All right, he's very mad right now. Where is Pan? Another crouching down position. Let's get him in like a... Um, more a fight pose right here. This is a very flexible figure. It moves very good and it balances in a lot of different positions pretty well. Very cool. Awesome guys. Um, so far from what I see from this uh, figure, moves great. Let's see a punch and a kick. Thrown straight out like that, bam. So if you do some stop motion, it's always going to be good for that. This character is well worth the money. All right, one of the coolest features right here that I see. Let's get into it. You can remove these arms, okay? So let's remove this arm and that arm. Oh no, oh no! It just fell apart there. But um, that's normal for these characters, man, or these figures all these parts kind of come out pretty easily just so these characters can move a little bit better but uh, hopefully this is easier to put in snap it back in his bicep came off Urgh! nope of course now his shoulders stuck in the socket and I can't get it out Ooh, I can't get that Shoulder out! There we go. All right. We'll worry about this later. But let me show you guys foldable arms. So this is a cool. Oh, so this is what I wasn't supposed to take the, these parts out. Only the uh, the forearms. Didn't know that. Wish I'd have known before. So just another FYI. If you're going to remove the arms. Don't take the main part out. So that's what I did wrong. <laughs> that's probably why it was so hard to uh, put those in. So let's figure out how to do this. Okay. It would have to be like, so you leave the shoulders in And you take, damn, that's gonna be hard to put in. I think, no, nah, shit. Oh man. So, I'm going to, well, this video might be over. Okay. We popped one shoulder back in. 
also included, if you want to pump from moving these accessories, you'll get a workout in as well. All right, let's see if this works for the arms folded right here. I'm going to pop it into this shoulder. Okay, that will not work like that. How would it work? It's for this character, but it won't fit. When it comes to his arms, I don't know. I wanted these folded arms in there. This is the best I could do with the, the folded arms. I got them in there barely. I, see, don't know. Don't know, I think that's how you put them in, but there is foldable arms, can't figure it out. So let's move on. Let's um, go to, even putting these arms back in here is hard. So if I was you, guys, you want to put the foldable arms in there, good luck. And if you know how to do it, Tell me in the comments below, it would really help me out. But these arms are really giving me a problem and it's pissing me off. There. Okay. Those arms were hard as hell to put back in. One more face piece. This is um, a face piece meant for the other Gohan that's in his base form. So I'll get that one out real quick. Bringing out the original Gohan that we've had since the movie came out. We will take his face off and replace it with the one that just came in the Sun Gohan Beast box. Very cool. Put it on there, and then we put the other face plate on, right there. And this is really cool, guys. It's just a little added feature for you guys that had bought the original Gohan figure to put these eyes on, this face plate on, right before he transforms into Sun Gohan Beast. So that's a really cool feature. I really like that. I'll probably keep that on my original Gohan. <clears throat> so this figure comes with eight different styles of hands for your battle scenes it's blasting scenes and we got this special beam cannon hand let's put it on him right quick this is from his right hand so we put that in right there let's get his screaming face on so he's blasting that special beam cannon at cell max and just be careful about these hairs, guys, because they are spiky and they poke. All right. Got the head on. Got the blast on. Let me get him in this pose. And now we're going to get him in his final pose right here with the special beam cannon. Yeah, and if you don't want him off balance with the special beam cannon, it comes with a stand which connects to the special beam cannon at the end. So it makes it a lot easier to prop up. And I'll show that to you right now. It's a cool feature. It just goes on the end of that beam cannon right there. Prop it up. Helps out with balancing. Awesome. Very cool feature to this. I wish more SH Figure Arts characters would come with their beams, with their Kamehameha's, with their Final Flashes, Masinkos, etc. Because this is a very cool feature to have for a figure. A lot of them don't come that way. So that's probably why he was a little bit more as well, because all of these accessories. After all of this is said, I rate this character an 8.5, just because it's a great figure. Don't get me wrong. The arms were hard to put on. The arms were hard to kind of take off. And um, that comes with all the SH Figure Arts figures. Other than that, the details of the hair 
are great. I feel like details of their clothing and everything else, their skin texture and all that, could be a little bit better from SH Figure Arts because we see these custom figures made out there and they're almost looking, if not better, than these original SH Figure Arts figures. I wish they just would step it up with the, the coloring detail game. That's it, guys. I hope you liked it. And if you watched it all the way through the end, give me a like, subscribe, comment. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? This is why you're here. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me. Guys, keep on getting inspired by anime. Keep on buying figures. No matter what age you are, man, keep on buying figures. I'm out.